In this episode, I'm heading home for Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Steve, and for as long as I can remember, I wanted to be somebody. I grew up in a small town and went to school in the valley. Now I'm in the big city, working at a fast-paced company, run by a guy you might know. Here I learned that while we all dream of success, what really matters is the journey. This is my story. Hi everyone and welcome to episode four of The Ascent. I'm your host, Steve Campbell. I'm here at VaynerMedia. Everyone's starting to file out of here for the holiday break, going home for Thanksgiving. I'm about to do the same, catching a three o'clock bus here uh, right off the street, so I'm excited about that. Not really excited about the eight hours that it's gonna take for me to get home to Pittsburgh, but I mean, it is what it is, right? But as everyone's getting out of here to spend time with family, friends, and loved ones, that's really what I wanted to spend time thinking about and talking about today briefly is, you know, just the idea of being thankful and just really taking this holiday for in the spirit of what it really is. I really have so much to be thankful for, but really at the heart of it all is my family, friends, coworkers, and loved ones. Um, and as I mentioned in episode two, I knew that I had a great support system around me with my coworkers and friends and family, but um, I, I didn't realize to the extent that that really reached. It's nice that I'm far enough into this now that I can do cutaways. Honestly though, the love and support that I've been feeling from everybody that doing this is just been tremendous and it's really been uh, a big boost to my self-esteem and you know it's really what keeps me going and getting excited to do this versus just doing the kind of thing that I know is going to work at the end of the day but but sticking with it and really just seeing the results and you know in the forms of comments and emails and texts and things from family and loved ones is just all the more reason to do it and you know that's that's why I'm in here doing this right now instead of just checking out and you know waiting for my bus to come around I think the big thing is that I've had numerous people reach out to me and tell me that, you know, just from watching what I'm doing here, it's really inspired them to, or gets them thinking around doing something similar. And, and that's really cool. That's exactly like the type of reaction that I want from doing this. And um, I'm really excited to see what other people are producing and getting some other people on the show and, and things like that to really just emphasize everything that's important that everyone's focusing on and doing and learning and, and can teach um, versus just me trying to do it on my own. The other thing that happened that I'm really excited about, which just happened today actually, was uh, you know somebody who's been following along the first three videos, a uh, guy from Pittsburgh named Declan, you know, reached out and created a video of his own, you know, just telling me that he agrees with what I've been what I've been preaching lately, and you know, he's he's looking forward to. Uh, doing some more with the ascent and like documenting his journey and I I'll link that up below because that's really cool so best of luck to you Declan I'm really excited to learn more about your journey and, and I hope that you continue to watch and follow along so maybe we can collab a little bit you know whenever I'm in Pittsburgh so I'm in a thankful mood that's what I'm thankful for is my family friends coworkers, loved ones um, you know, I, I can't wait to see them. I can't wait to talk to them. I, I know that, you know, this is the time of year where everyone's probably focusing on, you know, put this down and don't spend so much time on your phone. I'm, I'm the complete opposite. I think, you know, not everyone can be with each other physically um, around the holidays, but it's important to stay connected. And I think that this is the ultimate way to keep connected. So um, I'm a big advocate for, you know, being in the present moment, you know, you're eating dinner with your family, obviously, like put your phone down and spend time with them and, and really ask them questions and get into the conversation of everything and, and just catch up. But, you know, in my downtime, of course, I'm on my phone talking to the other people that I care about and, you know, I'm wondering how they're spending their Thanksgiving and, you know, doing things like FaceTime and whatnot. And I think it's really important just to take time out of your day that you otherwise would be spending working the rest of the year. and and just go that extra mile to like say hi to somebody or see how someone's doing or catch up with somebody you haven't spoken to in a long time or 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 you know just get in front of somebody that that you really love and care about the other thing i wanted to briefly mention was the idea of vayner thanks which is a, a hashtag that we sort of tweet out at each other every year around this time and it's it's just really in the spirit of this this season this holiday season and giving thanks to one another and you know whether it's just your teammates or the people that you run into in the office just the people who really impact you on a day-to-day -day basis and and taking a moment to you know give them some proper uh, proper shout out or some thanks in 140 characters over Twitter so I thought that was really cool to share and you know that's something I'll be taking part in as I'm on my eight-hour bus ride here in a little bit so you know feel free to follow along the hashtag hashtag Vayner thanks if um, if you want to see what I'm talking about and maybe it'll inspire you to do something similar you know with your family and friends and extended loved ones 
that's it really. I, I don't want to take up any more time than I have to on this holiday weekend. Everyone should be getting home and enjoying it like I'm about to do. I just think it's really important to recognize what's right in front of you and, and to be thankful and, and you know, it, there's too much negativity in the world and I think if you can take the time out of your day to do, go the extra mile for somebody or do something nice, even if it's just sending them a tweet or getting them coffee or Venmoing them a couple of dollars to do something as a nice surprise, it's, um, it means a lot. And I think you know, the more of that that I can help encourage and the more that I hear from the community that is going on, the better and the happier we'll all be. That's it for episode four. I hope you have a happy and healthy Thanksgiving and be on the lookout for episode five coming from Newcastle, Pennsylvania.